Welcome back to my channel. It's me again. And if you're new here, my name is Ada Jules and I work for 5-1 Talk. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be notified every time I post a new video. So for today's video, we will be talking about teaching tips on how to increase your bookings and how to get more regulars. Okay, so if you want to know more, please stay tuned. The first thing that comes to my mind every time someone asks me, um, how do you get more bookings or do you have any teaching tips that you can share with us? Well, um, one of the most important things is that you need to always smile smile because it lightens up the mood not just your mood but also your students mood so you need to smile wow that's very good okay how about this mm -hmm. yes okay so you need to smile that's number one two is that you can animate your voice you need to animate your voice they will be engaged if you change your voice. Okay, yes. You can change your voice to robot mode. Or you can change your voice to princess mode. So you can do a lot with your voice. So it's up to you on how you play with your voice and how you play with it and how you use it to get more bookings, okay? Next one is to start on time and end on time because time is very precious time is money you don't know what they sacrifice just to get um, a booking on this time slot for example i have a regular student that always books at 1 30 so in the afternoon yes of course we start on time we finish the book we end on time you know why he always books at 1.30? Because he needs to go back to school. He also has some other things, some other tutorial classes, and he needs to attend that on time too. So we need to also end on time. Of course, we don't want to ruin our student's schedule. We don't want them to miss other things, you know. They also have other, they also have a lot of stuff to do aside from taking our classes they also have to do their homework they need, they need to attend their piano lesson their guitar lesson swimming lessons dance lessons so we don't want them to ruin their day we don't want them to ru to ruin other things just because you ended up late and you came in late to class okay so students or parents expect you to start and end on time all right so next one here is that you need to speak slowly if you have to if your student is level zero or one or two you still need to speak slowly but you need to you need to adjust to their speaking pace you need to be sure that they understand you you don't have to um speak in english with british accent harry potter because your main goal in your class is that your student understands the lesson. Your student understands you. Okay? Speak slowly if you need to. Alright? Especially if you're talking about... If you're talking to younger kids. Three years old, four years old, five years old. You need to speak slowly. Adjust your speaking pace. Say the name of the student as often as you can. That's very good, Ada. Wow, nice work, Ada. I like that, Jack. Oh, wonderful. Nice one, Mary. Wonderful, Mary. Perfect, Mary. Okay, so if you call out their name, they will feel happy because it, that just means you appreciate them. With that, you need to use many adjectives. So, we keep on saying, wow, good job, very good. Good job, very good, good job, very good. Let's try other adjectives. Let's try to use nice one, wonderful, amazing, perfect. Well done, James. Well done, Mary. Great 
job, Leo. Perfect, Amanda. Okay, so we need to use more adjectives. We need to widen our vocabulary of adjectives. It's very important. Focus on the lesson. Because if you focus on the lesson, you're not gonna miss details about your student and you can correct them you can give them corrections timely praise your student from time to time okay you need to appreciate every little thing they do not everyone wants to participate in class especially if it's just an online class because some students try to make their homework while they're listening to you while they're having an English class online they're also doing other stuff here they might be playing some games they might be doing their homework they might be doing other things so if you praise them timely if you focus on your lesson you can have a real conversation not just um, following the book of course you need to follow the book but you can also think outside the box okay you can ask questions about this word of course ccqs and fuqs you already know that but sometimes we tend to forget those things for example you can say no i don't you don't really need to say um it's better to say no i don't you can just say all right now you say again no i don't all right so let them repeat after you no need to let them know that they're wrong your facial expression is very important wow good job leo very good leo nice one amanda good job that's a nice one perfect you may use many adjectives but your facial expression doesn't show that you are really happy wow i'm very happy wow i'm happy to see you too good job hi how are you i'm happy oh i'm happy too that doesn't show that you're actually happy so you need to show that on your face because you can change the whole mood you can change the, the mood of the class if you show them that you're really happy okay i got this technique from teacher john lucas that you need to leave everything behind if you're on class for example you have um, a problem how am i going to pay these bills and then oh you need to start the class hi good evening how are you oh happy i'm happy to see you too and then thank you bye bye goodbye goodbye that's just it you really don't need to smile for um the whole 25 minute of the class no you just need to smile and then facial expression smile smile facial expression smile tpr gesture smile don't forget your smile okay and if you see that they're with their mom their dad grandma grandpa whoever they're with during the class you need to greet them hi oh there's one more tip for you guys um if they're with their mom or dad uh you can say mm, you can say oh is that your hello is that your sister and then the mom say oh no 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 sister i am chris mommy i am chris mommy <gasps> Chris's mommy? No way! You look so young. I thought you were his sister. I'm sorry, my bad. Oh, no, 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 teacher. No, teacher. I'm mommy, Chris, mommy. And then you have that instant connection. You just need to do the pa sip sip thing with the parents because if you're sip sip with the parents, and they will start to like you. Okay, so just try to um, not lie to them. <laughs> just try to um, make them smile. Are you his sister? No, no, I am his mom. Oh, I thought you're his sister. You look so young. No way. <laughs> okay, and same goes with the dad. 
and grandpa. Are you his dad? Something like that. It depends on you guys. And treat them as your friend. How do you how do you talk to your friends? But don't be too comfortable. You still need to you still need to be professional. You still need to think that you're the teacher and they are the student. Okay, how about that? Uh-huh. Okay, yes, yes. Um, because I saw a video teacher who's talking to uh the student. Talking to the student like that. So I d that doesn't show professionalism at all like you just need to talk to them like you're talking to your friend like how are you i miss you oh you look good a good friend okay and <clears throat> this one's very important um we tend to hear them but sometimes we forget to listen to them we tend we hear everything in the class but sometimes we don't listen to them we hear them but we don't listen okay sometimes we don't listen to them sometimes and listening to them is very important so you were you're not gonna miss details about your student like how are you not happy <gasps> why why are you not happy homework so you need to empathize. That's one more thing. Also, you need to empathize with how your student is feeling, with how they're feeling. Sad. Why? Homework. Oh, you have a lot of homework. Yes, teacher. Well, what class is that for? English. What is your favorite class? Chinese. Oh, wow, I like Chinese too. How about the classic you don't like? Math. Oh, we are the same. I don't like math too. Okay, so you need to empathize and listen to them. All right. We hear them all the time, but some teachers don't know how to listen. Okay, and listening is one way of connecting with your student. There's an instant connection when you listen to that, listen to them and talk to them, like how you talk to your friends. And you can also make up chants if you want to. Like, very good, very good, hooray, hooray, very good, very good, hooray, hooray. That's one of the chants that I um, use here on Five Point Talk. So, you can also do hand gestures like high five, boom, shh, whoop, yay! I saw a video of a teacher um, doing high five, synchronized high five with uh, the student, and it was so cute, very cute. So, there's an instant connection, and your student will be attached to you, or vice versa. So, uh, the connection is very important. If, if they like your class, they're, they're going to book you again. Okay, so I hope everyone gets a higher booking rate this coming weeks. Also, do not be absent. Your students book you because they want to have you as the teacher. But instead, you're absent and then they're going to have another teacher, a substitute teacher. They're expecting you to be the teacher. Okay, so please do not be absent. They book you because they like you maybe they they find you beautiful or handsome in this picture and they want to try to have a class with you and if they like you they're gonna book you again okay there are some expectations from our from our students that we can reach and if let's try to reach that expectation and let's try to have more booking rates because if you're gonna be absent Aside from disappointing your student because they're not going to see you in class, your profile is also going to be ranked down. Attendance in our profile in 5-1 Talk is very important. Attendance is 40% in our profile. And if you're absent, that will lead you to a lower level in the website where they choose their teachers. We want them to see our profiles first every time they find new teachers or if every time they want to have a class so if you want to be on top try not to have absences yes um naka absent ako teacher pero last month lang yun eh ngayon mahina talaga ang bookings ko 
of course, it will not reflect right away. If you were absent last month, you have absences last month, the effects will be after a month. As much as possible, please attend all the classes that your students booked because attendance is very important in our class, in our, in our work. Attendance is very important in our profile. If you've reached this far in my video, thank you very much. And please like and subscribe. And you can also follow my social media accounts for more updates. Thank you very much. And if you have more teaching tips, you can freely share it in the comment below. And so other teachers can also see it. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in my next video. I have more videos to come. So please don't forget to subscribe. And see you again soon. The truth.